What's up, everyone? Bram and Justin here from Bram Hour Bar Services with the also talented WatchMojo.com. That's right, and we're once again back at the beautiful Baxter restaurant in the Old Port. And today's theme is all about Italy. Hey, yo, I could have swear I just saw the Jersey Shore boys behind the bar. No, Bram, I'm talking about real, authentic Italian. Oh, my apologies. Okay, well, keeping with the Italian theme, we're gonna make a couple of different Italian cocktails today, but we're gonna start things off with the Amaretto Sour. So, today we're gonna be talking about one of Italy's most popular liqueurs, Amaretto. That's right, in 1525, Leonardo da Vinci was caught sleeping with his widowed innkeeper in the church. No, 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 it was actually his assistant, Bernardino Luini, oh. who fell in love with the widowed innkeeper. Okay, my apologies. And in return, received a bottle of steeped apricots, which is now known as Amaretto. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. That's Sorry, my apologies. Today we're rocking our um, man berets, which are very popular in Europe. Uh, and we're also gonna put a little twist on the amaretto sour. We have our amaretto, our lemon juice, our simple syrup, which is sugar and water, our ice, our egg whites, and of course our sugar. Okay, so we're gonna take an ounce and a half of amaretto. We prefer De Serono, but you're welcome to use any amaretto you like. We're gonna take about an ounce of lemon juice. Carefully prepared by Bram Mauer dash of simple syrup for sweetness. Put a splash of egg whites. And these are regular egg whites that you can separate at home. Of course, the most important part, the shake. We're gonna rim your glass with sugar. You know, it's often assumed that the word amaretto translated means almonds, but it actually is derived from the word amaro, which means bitter. Very proud of you, bro. Thank you, I learned something today. So we're gonna add ice into your glass. We're gonna strain over fresh ice. Now for those of you wondering about the egg white, it actually adds some body and texture to the amaretto and could be considered part of your daily breakfast. It's very safe to drink, there's no worries. And the next thing you know, you'll be like Rocky. Okay, so we made our amaretto sour, which Justin mentioned was the most recognized and popular uh, Italian liqueur. But of course, there are many other liqueurs. There are out many there. others. Right. And I mean, because Italians love eating their spaghetti and meatballs so much, <laughs> a lot of their drinking revolves around eating. That's right. So we have our basic uh, aperitifs like Campari, Martini Rosso, digestifs like Sambuca and Averna, and of course, every Italian's favorite, Grappa. Yeah, oh, only the Italian's favorite. Everyone else is known as Devil's Water. Okay, so in honor of Italy's favorite pastime, we're gonna make one more quick, easy drink called the Ferrari. So we're gonna add ice to our glass. We're gonna have two ounces of Martini Bianco and about a half an ounce of Amaretto. We're gonna stir. Bam with his nice form and technique. Well done. And we're gonna add strawberries for a nice little Ferrari red garnish. So just remember that Italians like their cars, drinks, and women all the same way, fast. I'm also pretty sure that applies to the bedroom also. You better lock it up. You lock it up. So we hope you enjoyed our little trip to Italy. Remember that even if you're not Italian, you can make these drinks at home. Alla prossima. What does that even mean? Forget it. See you next time.